Okay, so this is a question about iteration. And we're given a starting number, which is 2. And we're given an iterative formula, which is cube root x plus 10. So the starting number is 2, although for some reason in this table it says 1. I'm going to change that to 2. And the iterative formula is a way of getting solutions. Now, the iterative formula either gets closer and closer to a solution or further and further away from it. The ones you'll be given will be getting closer and closer to a solution. So every time you run the iterative formula, it gets you a closer answer. It will never get exact the same answer, but because it's getting closer and closer, when it asks you to round it to, say, three decimal places, which it is in this question, then it's uh, very, very simple to do. Um, because because it's getting closer and closer, it will get there quite quickly. So the way of doing this on a calculator is type in the number you start with, which is 2, and just press equals. That will store the number into the calculator's memory. Next thing is to do the cube root button, which for my, me is shift and square root, and then type in ANS plus 10. Now what that's asking the calculator to do is to use the thing we've stored in memory and plus 10 to it. And you might be thinking, well, why don't you just type in 2 plus 10? That's surely that's quicker. Well, it is quicker for the first one, but not for the subsequent ones, because when I press equals, I get the answer 2.2894, blah, 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 blah. But all I need to do now is press equals again, and it gets me the next answer. So it saves you having to type in the whole thing again and again, which in an exam, you don't want to be sitting there typing in loads of stuff. So I'm going to try and put in as much decimal place as I can. And you can see that it's getting closer and closer to something. And because we're doing three decimal places, I've just got to make sure I've got all three decimal places down. But you can see it's already repeated here. So both of these are 2.309. As soon as it repeats, you can actually stop. I'm just going to carry on a little bit to see what happens. So we've got 2.3089, blah, blah, blah. And again, 2.3089 when I, when I click it again. So my answer would be 2.309 to three decimal places. But again, all of the working out here is what you get to the mark. So x0 equals, x1 equals, x2 equals, x3 equals. You need to show the examiner what it is you're doing.